The current challenge facing water quality monitoring um, in South Africa and globally is um, rapid pathogen sensing. In fact, 80% uh, of South Africa's 852 uh, wastewater treatment plants are currently malfunctioning and this is resulting in the release of harmful pathogens into our environment and possibly contacting users downstream, particularly rural communities and villages that source water from these river sources. Um, in fact, this is not just a national problem, it really is an international problem. Monitoring bodies or regulatory bodies such as the World Health Organization, otherwise referred to as the WHO, now considers microbial hazards as a key challenge facing the delivery of drinking or safe drinking water to users. When it comes to microbial water quality monitoring, the key bacteria that are monitored include E. coli and fecal coliforms. And this is because these bacteria are considered global indicators of sewage contamination due to their association with human and animal fecal matter. As a result, their presence would indicate sewage matter or contamination in a water source and the associated harmful bacteria or disease-causing bacteria in these water sources. The presence of E. coli and fecal coliforms usually results in diseases like gastroenteritis and kidney failure, and these are some of the leading diseases that cause death in the elderly and the youth. Current methods used to detect E. coli and fecal coliforms include methods such as membrane filtration and multiple tube fermentation. The problem with these methods is that they require overnight culturing or 24 hours before a result is obtained. Now what this means is that these results are obtained much longer after users are exposed to contaminated water and this poses severe health risks. The CSAR has developed a rapid pathogen detection system and this is referred to as Colispot. Now, Colispot aims to serve as an early warning screening tool for the detection of E. coli and fecal coliforms. Colispot is able to detect bacteria in effluent wastewater streams or treated water that discharges from a wastewater treatment plant and in environmental water sources such as your rivers and your lakes and including dams within six hours. The method constitutes four major steps, starting off with sample preparation, which includes membrane filtration. It's followed by incubation of the sample, in an oven at 44.5 degrees Celsius and thereafter detection on a lateral flow immunoassay which allows for the selective detection of E. coli and fecal coliforms. The final step in the Colispot detection system is readout of the test signal and transmission of the result. In order to improve the performance of the Colispot system, we're also investigating the use of printed electronics. Printed electronics involves the deposition of conductive materials such as gold and silver onto the surface of the paper. In this way, we're able to use other mechanisms such as impedance and conductivity measurements in order to detect E. coli bacteria. In this way, the aim is to improve the sensitivity of the lateral flow immunoassay such that it can be applied for other applications where improved sensitivity is required. Current methods also require highly resourced lab facilities as well as trained technicians and are sometimes very expensive. Now, Colispot aims to overcome these challenges in being possible such that it can be used on site and it is low cost and it is much more user friendly. Colispot has undergone successful field trials at a local wastewater treatment works over a period of seven months. And during field trials, we were able to demonstrate the early warning capability of this technology. While the technology has been tested for wastewater effluent, future applications could include monitoring water use in the agricultural sector, for example, water use for irrigation purposes or for livestock watering. Future work on Colispot will include the development of a user-friendly system. During field trials, we have identified many user steps during the process that need to be consolidated into a user-friendly version of the system. Furthermore, this platform can be pivoted towards the detection of other contaminants of interest in the water quality monitoring sector. The aim of the Colispot project is to improve the operational efficiency of wastewater treatment works to prevent the discharge of contaminated water into the environment. This will help reduce the environmental burden and the health burden this places on water users, on animals, as well as the agricultural sector.